I am going to first tell you something that, in my grandmother, would have elicited a five oi alarm. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> And here it is. Are you ready? Okay. I have、uh, stage four lung cancer. Oh, I know, poor me. I don't feel that way. I'm so okay with it. I simply just don't understand. The mindset of people who are out to defeat death and overcome death—how do you do that? How do you defeat death without killing off life? I, it doesn't make sense to me. I also have to say, I find it incredibly ungrateful. It's disrespectful to nature. The idea that we're going to dominate nature, we're going to master nature. Nature is too weak to withstand our intellect. No, I, I don't think so. I am incredibly grateful for life, but I don't want to be immortal. I have no interest. I have no interest in having my name live on after me. In, in fact, I don't want it to. I love being in sync with the cyclical rhythms of the universe. That's what's so extraordinary about life. It's a cycle of generation, degeneration. Regeneration. I am just a collection of particles that is arranged into this pattern, then will decompose and be available, all of its constituent parts, to nature to reorganize into another pattern.、Uh, to me, that is so exciting, and it makes me even more grateful to be part of that process. I look at death now from the point of view of a German、uh, biologist. Andreas Weber, who looks at it as part of the gift economy. You're given this enormous gift, life. You enrich it as best you can, and then you give it back. And you know, Auntie Mame said, "Life is a banquet." Well, I've eaten my fill. I have had an enormous appetite for life. I've consumed life, but in death, I'm going to be consumed. I'm going into the ground just the way I am. And there, I invite every microbe and a treatiser and a composer to have their. I think they'll find me delicious. <laughs> so the best thing about my attitude, I think, is that it's real. It's not. You can see it. You can observe it. It actually happens. It's not. A, well, maybe not. My enriching the gift. I don't know about that. But my life has certainly been enriched. By other people, and I am so grateful to you. I don't want to say the audience because I don't really see it as we're two separate things. I think of it in terms of quantum physics again, and you know, quantum physicists are not exactly sure what happens when the wave becomes a particle. There are different theories: the collapse of the wave function, decoherent. But they're all agreed on one thing: that reality comes into being through an interaction. So do you. And every audience I've ever had, past and present. Thank you so much for making my life real. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.